Hey, it's Kyle, DRJ1995, doing a walkthrough of Vidmaster Challenge Classic, because this is the only one that you really could use a walkthrough for. The other ones are just basically, you know, not dying, or reaching a certain rank, or set in firefight, things like that. So this is the only one I really need to walk through, so I thought I'd do one. And this first part is the most difficult, because you forced to use a Warthog, nothing else, and you gotta get past the Wraith, Ghost, this Chopper, and a second Wraith. So that's really difficult. But, once you get that new intel data, you're in the clear. Now I kept going just to make sure that, you know, I wasn't gonna get shot in the back, but once you get that thing saying new intel, you're in the clear. They won't follow you any farther. So I hopped out here, at all of these gas station kind of things, you can get health packs, and there's one right there. I didn't really need one. Uh, but then there's also a ghost at most of them. In case, you, so, you just grab the ghost, and from here on out, it's pretty much smooth sailing, except for a few parts. You just boost through the rest of it. Just boost past all these enemies. And, um, most people say that you can't even kill any enemies, but you can. I splattered lots of guys in this level, and I still got the achievement. So feel free to splatter anybody that you see, or, you know, splatter those turrets or whatever, the shades. That'll make your life a lot easier. But just to be safe, I tried to avoid splattering people, but as you can see, I did a lot. So, and the other thing is that, uh, right here, you can hide behind these cage things, if your stamina is low, and then you can just pop out and run around this corner. And if you follow the exact path I did, I don't see why you shouldn't get it, you know, because the enemies go usually go the same places every time. You know, mostly have the same weapons. So if you go the same path that I do, you should you should get the achievement easy. Uh, but just so you know, before I started recording, I died in that first part so many times I can't even count. So if you get frustrated on the first part, just don't worry. Just keep going till you get it, and then it's smooth sailing from there on out. Now this part is another complicated part because there are two wraiths just like before. And so I got shot at by this one, ran into a pole, and I started losing health. So I kind of ran away, and I kind of forgot where I was supposed to be going. So I ran over here, and I found a little neat trick here, which is to just hop right over these rocks. Um, but I had no idea where I was going at this part, and I had to hide in this corner to save my health. So I was going, and I got hit by this shade here. Er... Oh no, I get hit by the wraith, I think, and I end up dying. Oh yeah, that's right. I tried boosting into that tunnel to, you know, save myself. But I epically fail, crash into this thing, and get myself shot. But that's the only other death I had, other than the ones at the beginning. So those two parts are the most tricky ones. So yeah, and then I respawned here. And this is kind of a crappy checkpoint because I was right in the middle of a bunch of wraiths. But somehow I made it. I don't know. I guess I got lucky. I just shot right in between this chopper and the uh, wraith. And got lucky. Turned the corner and made it. And if you're, on if you're low on health right here, don't worry. I was low on health too, as you can see. Uh, but there's health packs in this next. And the, on the other side of the bridge. Lots of health packs. So you'll be fine. Uh, tower explodes. Big long bridge with absolutely no enemies on it for some reason. Yeah, I hopped out, had a little bit of trouble finding the health pack, as you can see. I kind of walked around for a second. Got a checkpoint, though. Uh, and there's a spare ghost if you need one. And looking around, where is it? Where is it? I thought it was over here, but it's by the door over here. So just keep that in mind, by the door. You'll find it. And once you get... And now... Um... This should be easy. I mean, I really don't have many, too many tips other than just keep boosting with the ghost. Boost to a turn, turn, and then boost again, like I like I do. This part, I've heard a lot of people have trouble with it, but I didn't have much trouble. As you can see, I don't lose any health at all. I just drive right through. No, it wasn't much of a problem. Actually, I did lose a little bit of health, but again, I never came close to death. So I just hop out. There's a health pack right here, so get that. Climb back in my ghost and keep going. This next part up here, I don't know really if it's smarter to go left or right. I went left just because it was in the video I saw. 
Um, but then I started getting shot, and so I turned around back in here to take cover. Which is probably the advantage to going left, is you can take cover back here. Regain your stamina, and then just make a, you know, make a run for that uh, tunnel over there. Past the wraith, unfortunately. But he didn't seem to give me much trouble. Lost a bit of health. Uh, up here, there's gonna be two brutes with brute shots. Now I missed that guy, but I hit this guy because you know brute shots. In case you haven't ever played multiplayer of Halo 3, they can take out a vehicle extremely fast. Uh, I mean, I've used a brute shot and just fired at a warthog or whatever. It it'll flip it every time. So once you get here, just boost across to there. You'll bounce right up, and you'll hit that hole, and you made it. Rate, comment, and subscribe for the win.